Hello, my name is Sarah Dowling. I am an artist, a independent curator and a collaborator, collaborator based in Ireland. I'm working between Dublin and Limerick currently and I was one of the artists on the 2017 Mudhouse Residency Programme. Um, I was actually the first Irish artist on the programme itself and being part of Mudhouse has inevitably paved the way um, and really aided and supported me in my journey working within the arts. It has been a pivotal step for me and has essentially been a huge part of the reason why everything that has come after has come after. Uh, so I'm massively grateful for my experience within Mudhouse. Um, when I was first in the village, I was very much looking at the time for a sense of reconnection with myself and with the world around me. Um, I needed to re-involve myself into different communities and different people. And I certainly got that essence from Mudhouse um, residencies, but also from Iasuanas as a village itself. I became fascinated by the essence of absence and why people had left so many years ago. Um, Iasuanas is a 600 year old uh, village, has obviously had a series of different recounting histories. But the histories that I was most fascinated by were those that were told by its new um, residents themselves, um, which were a mixture of different tales and um, a mixture of different personal histories that collectively made up the essence of the village um, as it was in 2017. I was very lucky to spend individual time um, with these residents who each contributed so much of their time to me and their personal stories back. Um, I also, um, as a, a former performance artist, made a series of different performative dances um, on the rooftops, but also a series of black and white imagery um, as well of the uh, bedrooms that were left behind um, within the houses that had been desolated and abandoned for so many years, but had also, of course, collected so much um, different artifacts and memorabilia and different furnishings. Um, essentially exactly what you would expect to find in a village that was abandoned but which fascinated me because it was left and um, kind of secured in time that way. Um, since then um, when I left that first um, summer from my Ioannis 2017 I went on to do uh, to be featured in a artist workshop talk series called Works, Workspace Social and that was held in Ormston House Cultural Research Centre in Limerick where I discussed the residency and my experiences and then after that some of the work that I had made featured in two different shows, one in Galway um, and one in Ennis and then um, uh, after, just after that about a year and a half later um, some of the photo photography I had not used was re-featured in another show in Calorgan as part of the K-Fest um, festival that particular year last last year so I was very very grateful to have a lot of the work that I had made in that time and um, kind of keep circulating keep coming back around and keep inspiring me with more ideas as well as that I was offered a scholarship to do just over two years um, work placement as part of a postgraduate degree with an international arts organization called Eva International and that enabled me to be to work also on a creative Europe project called Magic Carpets, which was hosted by a Lithuanian organization and entailed an awful lot of travel back and forth and around Europe over the space of two years, which I um, which was fantastic experience, but also very much fed into a role that was offered to me through um, my experience at Mudhouse the first year. I came back as an external uh, selector for ASR for um, Athena Standards Residencies when it opened in Athens the, the following year. And as I said, it linked very much into some of the work that I was doing with the arts organisation here in Ireland um, and taught me an awful lot of skills that I went on to use um, last year. I have since started up my own independent um, exhibition collective for recent graduates in Ireland and particularly in Limerick. And we've had four shows over 12 months and had 69 artists participate in different exhibitions held in, a, in various different spaces. Um, I also run different curatorial workshops um, and talks and, and we lead them as part of the project um, and I also work now as the Vice President of Postgraduate Affairs with the Union Students of Ireland so I went back to activism which I always had um, a personal passion, passion for and I represent postgrads at a national level. A part of that is also working with creative institutions and looking at different creative ways of mobilising national campaigns around representation and funding and the rights of postgraduates in working environments. 
and I really don't think that I would have been able to push forward with such gusto if it hadn't been Mudhouse and ASR and the experiences that I had with both of them kind of surging me and supporting me um, going forward. I have to note the level of support as well that has come from the wonderful founders Varvara and Jenny ever since. They continually supported me um, ever since I left the first year um, and that's been a huge block that's helped me get through the last few years and also helps to maintain um, the positivity and mot motivation around working within an arts field and an, and an arts industry which can be very tough otherwise. Um, so I'd like to massively extend my thanks to them um, and also, I suppose, give a huge hello and congratulations to those that are featured in the show uh, today um, and also my fellow peers from my 2017 alumni group. Uh, I hope you're all keeping very, very well um, and I will indeed be keeping posted on all the next Mudhouse and AS or future activities. Um, enjoy the night, have a great opening and hopefully see some of you very soon.